George, good to see you. Obviously, a setback in midweek. Nobody's going to deny that one. But so, so what's, what's the feeling going into Fleetwood at the weekend? Well, we're quite positive to be, uh, today, to be fair. Uh, we've kind of moved on for it quite quickly and looking forward to Fleetwood, you know, still in our own hands now, so we know what's required. Yeah, I think that's the key, isn't it? As you said, everyone's a little bit deflated Tuesday night, but bigger picture, two games to go. It is in your own hands. How do you read it? Two tough games, uh, two different games, one at home, obviously, one away, um, but two very winnable games. And with the position we're in, you know, we're full of confidence um, to go into them two games and trying to get the two wins, you know, we're not looking at what other teams are doing, we're just focusing on ourselves. Does it sort of clear the mindset a little bit? You, you, we know where we are now. If you win two games, you're in the playoffs, simple as. I know there could be other permutations with draws, etc., but two wins and you're there? Yeah, you don't want to ever rely on other teams to do stuff. We'd much rather have it in our own hands as it is now. So, yeah, it's massive that it is in our own hands still, and um, we know what's required to get the job done. Yeah, as I said, it was a setback, but it was a first defeat in a long time, first defeat in seven, eight games. Again, do you sort of remind yourselves of that fact and, and, and that things have been going well? Yeah, it was a tough one to take, um, considering how the game went, um, kind of a bit slack in parts, but you know, we did have quite a few good opportunities to, to win the game in the end. But yeah, you've got to remind ourselves how good we are and we are in this position we're in now for a reason and that's because we have been very good for the whole season. So mm. we've just got to remind ourselves and, and go again Saturday. Mm. And it was only a week ago you were beating Shrewsbury very well and it was only 1-0 but with that second half performance. So as you say, it's not miles, you're not miles away. Yeah, we've kind of got a theme at the moment, you know, we're just pinning teams back and, you know, keeping them camped on the edge of their box and um, you know, moving the ball quickly side to side. But if we can you know, penetrate them a bit more, more and take our, our chances, then you know, we, could, we have the opportunity to put a few past one of these teams. Yeah, uh, chances is, is the big sort of debate, if you like, but it, it is the hardest thing in football, putting it in the back of the net. Well, I don't know if you'd agree that as a defender, but it uh, seems to be the hardest part of the job. But you just back everybody on the side to uh, keep a cool head and, and just get back on, on track with that. Yeah, of course. I think the main thing is that we're we're creating these chances, and you know, soon the penny's going to drop, and you know, a few of them are going to go in. But if we weren't creating the chances, then it'd be more of a problem. But we don't see it as that. There is an onus, of course, on the back lads as well, because you've done as well to sort of build this platform, if if you like, um, with one or two personnel changes. But it goes without saying that uh, everyone must be pleased with that. Yeah, definitely. If we can keep you know the back door shut for as long as possible, it gives strikers a better opportunity, you know, just to get that one goal to get us over the line. Um, so that's our that's our main goal at the back, you know, not let the opposition score, and you know, hopefully the strikers do their job at the other end. What's it like playing out there when obviously there's just one goal, and inevitably there's going to be a little bit of tension watching the game. But how do you sort of manage that yourselves when you're out there playing? Well, there's different different types of managing the game depending on the situation, and you know what stage of the game's in, but we don't feel any pressure or tension when, when we're on the pitch. We back ourselves and um, we know our strengths, know our weaknesses and we play our strengths to hide our weaknesses. So, yeah, we don't feel any pressure, any tension. I know sometimes, you know, the ones looking on can feel, feel that way, but, you know, we feel like we have it under control. Gustav, we hope there's another home game to come and every confidence in that, but Saturday is the last sort of scheduled home game. That's always a big occasion on the calendar. I know you'll sort of balance that with, with a, a vibrant mood around the place, but for you guys, there's a job to do, isn't there? Yeah, job to do, um, get the three points, and hopefully that, that mood can be lifted even more. Um, then we go on you know, the player awards at night and have a good time as well. But yeah, first and foremost, our minds are fully on getting the three points at three o'clock. And it's funny not knowing where the end of the season is going to be. I mean, hopefully it could go another month. That would, uh, that's, that's got to be everybody's target. Yeah, that's the feeling within the change room at the moment that we're nowhere near the end of the season yet. Um, we, we can't even really really believe that the main season finishes in 10 days um, because no one's even thought about that. So, yeah, we're just going to go into Saturday and then the following Sunday against Bristol and hopefully we can kick on from there in the playoffs. It's been an incredible month this. It started way back at Wembley. It's been an enormous amount of games, hasn't it? And it is the last one in April. And that's been some workload. How's everybody found that? Yeah, physically demanding but enjoyable at the same time. I think the lads have coped with it quite well. Obviously, we've had a few injuries, but the lads who have stepped in and stepped up, you know, they've done really well um, to keep us on the right track. It's been a big month for you because going into April, you'd have that lengthy spell on the sidelines with that quite nasty injury you got at Charlton. You, you came back in this side via the bench at Wembley and you, you've been in ever present. It's, it's been a great end to, towards the end of the season for yourself. Um, how positive have you been about that? Yeah, really happy to be back in and back starting and back playing regularly again. Um, you know, it's been tough physically, but you know, there's nothing more enjoyable than being on the pitch, 
playing playing alongside your mate. So yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed it and just happy to be back now. Because yeah, while that spell post injury, you were one of the first sort of names on the on the team sheet again towards 35 league games in, in a season. That's, that's another big step forward, in, presumably in your involvement. Yeah, even though I had the injury, it's still a lot of games to play in a season. So, yeah, I am definitely happy about that and hopefully there's, you know, five more games to come. And so just lastly, then that's the target for everybody. It sounds simple on paper, but uh, you know what you've got to do. Yeah, it sounds simple, but, you know, these teams are in League One for a reason. They're, they're good teams, difficult teams to play against. They have their own strengths and their own weaknesses, which are different to us. So, you know, they'll play to their strengths and hopefully we can nullify that as much as possible and take over.